What's up, bro? <clears throat> What's up, bro? Who about another reaction here? Hopping into Criminal Minds episode number five, season number one, called Broken Mirror. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there. If you want them, if you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode, we had uh, the one with the rapist murderer guy. Um, and we also had, like, Spencer kind of the team. I don't want to say the whole team, but. And Gideon was helping Spencer kind of learn how to get a date. Um, we got this new girl that I swear I don't recall ever seeing. Um, I'm assuming she's part of the team. I don't recall her being there, but she must have, and I just missed it. Uh, but we're going to hop into this one. Broken Mirror. Be anything. Here we go. Shit. No way nobody, there's no way anybody got into your car. Drive, motherfucker. Somebody. Do you have the keys? They got into your car? Yeah, How? Leave them in the car. Yeah. I How'd you get? I think, I don't know. But How'd they get into yeah, your car? What the fuck? Trish, that's not disappointing. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the, I just noticed the guy in the beginning. That's the dude from um, the California guy. The documentary on that guy on, on, um, on Netflix. What's she doing? Flying on the road. Sister, yeah, right? I see this. But why? Trying to get that twin. She's twinge. trying to get a feel for what happened to her sister. By lying on the ground. The girl spent her teenage years. Shot was to the face. That's personal. Not really. Not if it's like in a car where the guy's sitting down. It's just easy to kill him that way. I wouldn't call that personal. It's usually personal, but like I don't think that was personal this time. He got shot. Like kill the boyfriend. I want it'll flash red. You'll be able to hear his side of the conversation. He won't be able to hear us. We'll be running the trace through the field office of him. You're in good hands with Agent Gideon and his team. I feel you think that it's going to be she she one of the security people. Anxiety? I never said whack job. Actually, there may be a physiological basis for it. Don't ask. Reversed asymmetry. Monozygotic eggs split late between 9 to 12 days. The DNA man. Ask you may ask me nothing. This is not an interrogatory. You will listen only Should we find a way that he can say, I have your daughter, okay. Patricia? He just said, I have your daughter. I will not give them to you. I don't understand. I do not want to talk to you, Mr. Davenport. 500 grand? He said he's not that... I mean, he was like, I'm not a millionaire. Do you have 500 grand? A part of me feels like she's in on it. I don't know. Look, I think I know I drink, but it's the security guard. I feel like it's one of the security guards or whatever. He's going to call back. We need you at your best. Well, he said if he sees anyone. One car unmarked, tinted windows. And the guy's gonna just be like, well, that's obviously normal for that car to be there. And Trish dies. My daughter dies. Be like, I would destroy this entire. What are you doing? Oh, we hung up on him. Kind of piss him off, make him angry. Agent Interesting. Do it again. Hello? I remember that. Tell me there was a technical issue with the line because if you actually just hung up on. What the hell are you oh, doing? Oh, 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 we're pissing him off, bro. This is interesting. I can answer it? Why, why is he doing this? What, what is it? What, 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 you're going to drive this guy crazy. Just answer the phone. Is he going to leave a message? <laughs> oh my god. You're killing my daughter! Pick up that phone! Pick up that phone! Pick up that phone! Pick up that phone! Take him out of the room. Take them both out of the room. Take them both out of the room. Get a hold of yourself. Quiet him. Let him go.
Like, hello? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, wrong number. Sorry, you must have the wrong number. Come on, get in. <laughs> oh, he did the thing. I would have been like, I would have been like, oh, who's this? Us. The wrong number. Oh, what, what the hell do you think you're doing? Playing. It's his game. I'm saving your daughter, Mr. Davenport. <laughs> Pumped up side of beef. I know who you are. I know how you think, and I know what to do next. Oh. You. Oh, he knows everything. What did he say? We'll walk the perimeter. Yeah. Is that him? I'd be worried if it's him, though. He's been so he's been around like so much. I, unless this is part of their thing. The only way for that guy to know where we took the girl. It is him. What the fuck? How are you talking on the phone? It's good to find my getting you alone. Has you been here before? A few times. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, bro, he could have killed you. That's crazy that he did it, actually. Does it ever annoy you when people want to line you and Patricia up together to examine? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You is whack. She beat your ass. Or well, sloppy, dude. You should have been like, I'm FBI, bitch. Or whatever they are. <laughs> Where is Patricia? became obsessed with the, the daughters the f dude visited a few times and he became obsessed it's like okay. what the absolute hell how does that like how the hell I got a lot of dude that's unhinged off his rocker Don't need to ask so many I was gonna ask the same thing. Like, man, I wish we was, they didn't show us how he knew, or how why he told us. Because I was gonna say once he, once you got him, he didn't have to tell shit. Love is in excess. It brings a man no honor, nor worthiness. Give me half. Okay. Be careful what you wish for. Knock yourself out. They're a proper team. Gotta respect that. All right, episode number five, season number one, Broken Mirror. Uh, that was a pretty decent episode. Um, like the kidnapping thing, I kind of figured it was who it was. Like they showed this guy, guy earlier, and I was gonna say right there when they showed him, uh, they put the camera on him early on in the episode, and I was gonna say it's probably him. I didn't say it, but. I kept thinking it was like a security person. What did they show him? And they're already here. Is he the guy that says that the bug, when they checked for bugs? No, no, it was an Asian guy. Yeah, I said that. Who was the guy? It was a guy. When was it? Was it here? No. And my brain went like, ooh, it's probably him. I don't know. There was a moment that I saw the, I saw that guy. Oh, was it there? No, no, I wasn't here. Inside of the house. My brain kind of went like, oh, it's probably him. When did they check for bugs? I believe he, yeah, I believe he was the guy that said about the bugs. Is it here? You're in good hands with Agent Gideon and his team. This button makes everyone in the room silent. It'll flash red. You'll be able to hear his side of the conversation. He won't be able to hear us. We'll be running the trace through the field ball. 
I don't know, but yeah, when I saw him, I thought I, saw, I thought I saw him before that. My brain went like, oh, it's probably him. But then I was like, nah, they wouldn't do that because it might be a bit too obvious. Um, and then they never showed him again, which made me kind of like be like, okay, well, it's a security. I knew it was hard. I knew it was somebody that was part of the security team. It just made sense, right? Especially when Morgan was here and he was like, get her out of the way to get to her. And I was like, all right, so it's not your typical ransom kidnapping thing. It's he wants he wanted to get to the girls. Or the daughter, and then later when he wanted to, oh, it's a second kidnapping. Part of me was like, what if it's the daughter that was part of it? Like, maybe the other daughter was trying to get the money. But ultimately, it was just a guy. Um, it's cool. I like the show. I like the way that they kind of piece it together. It is procedural, of course, and they do a lot of the stuff that I guess has become cliche. Um, I guess when this first came out, it probably wasn't as obvious of who the killers were, probably. But um, I thought that the way that they handled the situation and the way that they kind of paced it and we got to see Morgan do some work. We got to see, I don't even know what her name is. What's her name? We got Reed, obviously, but who's she is? I don't know which one's her. It's not her. I don't know who she is. Her name. But you see, you guys see what I was saying though. That blonde girl is not here again. It was mega weird. They introduced that blonde girl last episode, but it it really did feel like they only introduced her to be a love interest for um for uh, for Spencer. It's like like she wasn't a part of the thing yet. You introduced her, and I'm like, oh well, she's just for the love interest. Uh, and this is the girl. Her name's L. Uh, so we got to see her be a badass, and we got to see Morgan kind of doing his thing. We've seen Spencer last episode. I think it was in several other episodes do stuff, and it's pretty cool. And we obviously see Gideon. I 100% believe um, that Hotch is the most pointless person in this team. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he brings different than everybody else. Everybody else brings something, right? Or they we see them do something. Like, we don't see Hotch do shit. <laughs> He's so pointless. Um Knowing how these shows work for me, they'll probably kill off one of the people that I do like and keep his ass. Uh, but yeah, I thought that the way that the team worked together was cool. I thought the acting by the sister or by the actress, because whatever her, she's not actually a twin in real life, I don't think. So her and then the the um, the uh, the dad, I thought that was all pretty solid. The emotion and the like, the phone call moment, the phone call stuff was awesome. Really built up tension. And I'm like, holy shit, he's pushing dudes' buttons, and I loved it. But that shit was great. So overall, I very much enjoyed the episode. Um, hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, I don't really have much else to say. Um, so going to get out of here and talk to you guys later.